So I don't know about you guys, but lately life has been so expensive and it's been stressing a girl out. I, I'm not a fan of how expensive everything is right now, but it really got me thinking, how can I be creative and really work with the budget that I have and do things that are good for both me and obviously my pets? Because fun fact, I got four. <laughs> I got four pets. I got two dogs and two cats. And I kind of got inspired the other day when I was watching one of my favorite YouTube creators. He's like a recipe chef person. I follow like a couple of them actually. And one of the series that they do is like making dinner meals or lunch meals or whatever for like a week under like a certain price point. It was like, one of them was like dinner ideas for a week under like $15 or under like $30. And I was like, you can do that. <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. And I love those, like, those videos because they give me so many ideas. They get me inspired. And they made me realize like what I can create in like the kitchen because I, I'm not a good cook. I'm really not. Like I can get by, like I can make dog recipes, which is what we're doing. I'm great at this. Like I'll, I'll toot my own horn. You know, I, I can do this. But actual recipes, I struggle with. Every now and then I'll get like a wild hair up my butt and I'm just like, I'm gonna make this. Like <laughs> there was one time I tried to make the a copycat version of the Olive Garden marinara sauce. Oh, it went so bad. <laughs> it was, but it started out so good. It really did. But then I accidentally did a tablespoon of pepper instead of a teaspoon. And for anyone in here who's watching this and actually spends time in the kitchen, in the kitchen you immediately are probably like, oh no, oh no. Cause that is, if you don't know, that is the correct response to what I just said is, oh no. Because that was the most <laughs> bitter <laughs> sauce we've ever tried. And the worst part is I didn't even realize it. And I went to take a taste. I was like, oh, this sauce is not right. And I grabbed my fiance. I was like, what, what's wrong with this? And he's like, he like sucked back. He's like, how much pepper did you put in this? And I was like, a tablespoon. He's like, did you call for that? And I was like, yeah, I showed him the recipe. He's like, that's a teaspoon. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my bad. And he tried to fix it with like sugar and stuff. No, <laughs> it didn't fix it. So I, like I said, I can make dog recipes. I can't make kitchen recipes. So I love watching those YouTubers for ideas because I really need it. And I love those series where they can make a bunch of weeknight meals just meal ideas under a price point. And I was like, why not do that for enrichment for pet parents? Because I'm known for my recipes. I love doing them. Why don't we see how many we can actually make under a certain price point? So this video is making a week's worth of dog enrichment ideas for under $10, which I think is fantastic. So we're not going to skip a beat here. I'm going to go ahead and get into the ingredients. I'm going to show you the tools we're going to use and we're going to get started making the recipes. So by the way, in case you're new here, my name is Caitlin. I'm a pet blogger from Central Florida and I love sharing dog enrichment ideas, obviously, <laughs> product reviews and canine fitness. And then I also share stuff with my cats as well. So if that sounds really fun to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would really love for you to join my possum community because I love sharing fun ideas like this all the time and I hope you love them too. So in our ingredients, I'm going to move this out of the way. We're using five things, okay? We're gonna use plain Greek yogurt, which this is 349 at Aldi. We're gonna use two bananas. These are either usually like 25 cents each from Target or it's like 59 cents a pound, and this does not equal a pound, so I can already tell you that's cheap there. We're gonna use some carrots. These are $1.39 a bag. We're going to use some pure canned pumpkin. I forgot I moved that for a second. This is about $1.50 at Publix. And then I got a big thing of strawberries at, at Sam's only because I'm going to be making a lot of things with strawberries this week. But just a small container at like Aldi right now was like $2.50 or something like that. Keep in mind, there are obviously seasonal shifts in price for like, you know, fruits and veggies and stuff like that. But right now, when this video is going live, that's around the price. So that's going to happen again, depending on when you find this video. So all in all, I feel, I feel like when I did the total, it was like $8 or like around there. I think that's really great for a week's worth of enrichment. And I want to point out, I'm making enrichment for two dogs. So if you are making it for one, you can double all of this and have two weeks worth of enrichment for $8. That's even, that's $4 a week. That's fantastic. That's cheaper than a McDonald's large fry right now. Did you know that? I saw that the other day. I went, I, my, McDonald's fries are my kryptonite. I swear. They're so good. They have the perfect amount of salt and crunch. Am I right? They're the best. And it was like $5 for a large fry. I don't even think you can get a good, you used to get like a decent sized fry on the dollar menu. That's gone. So this is, this is cheaper than, you get all this cheaper than eating a french fry at McDonald's. So fun fact, <laughs> I feel like that was so lame, but it's true. The more you know. So for our actual enrichment tools, we are going to be using lick mats and Kongs. 
And all of this, by the way, it's super flexible. So if you have certain lick mats at home that you love, or if you have like, like I love using the West Paw topples and stuff like that too. If you have those super awesome, super interchangeable, you use what you have. Um, I obviously share a lot of enrichment recipes on my blog here and in my email newsletter, all of that. So if you follow me and you love my recipes, um, you're going to see these mats used across everything. So if you really like what I do, I'm going to link everything below. So if you want them, you have the option to get them. Um, these are going to translate to basically every recipe that I make. So if you want to always create the ideas that I share, which thanks if you do, that's awesome. Makes my day. Um, you'll use these a lot. It's not a one and done use. So one of my favorite brands of lick mats is actually Licky Matt. They're from Australia. Super awesome people, super awesome team. I've met them before and we are going to be using a few different lick mats. I have one of the large um, or extra large Licky Mat Buddies. I have regular size of the Licky Mat Buddies. I've just got two different colors. And then I've got the Licky Mat Soother. This has kind of like, you can see little kind of ridges, little holes. And then I have, as a bonus recipe I'm putting in here, I'm gonna use the Licky Mat UFOs, which fun fact, these actually have suction cups, so you can already think of all the cool ways that you can use this. <laughs> when I did that, I thought it looked like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I'm a spaz, but this is fun. And then I'm using regular Kongs. This is the Kong like filling freeze tray that I actually got at an event that I went to and Kong happened to be there. Um, you obviously don't have to use this to fill a con. I'm just using it because I have it and I feel like it's really convenient and it looks nice in the video. But if you don't have this, usually what I used before is I would grab a muffin pan tray and I would just sit them in there. Granted, they, they're gonna be at a little bit of an angle, but who cares? It still works fine. So I'm gonna be filling some Kongs. And then the only actual tools that I feel like you need for this to make these recipes besides like the ingredients and like the lick mats and you know, stuff and self, I'm going to use a blender for one of the recipes. I have like my ninja blender. I'm going to use, I have my cutting board and a knife over here. I have like a bowl to mash my banana in. And then for mashing, this is my go-to guys. This is a cocktail muddler. I use this for everything. My aunt actually got this for me. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching it, Cindy. She actually got this for me for like making a cocktail that I tried with her like years ago. And I literally only use it to mash av my avocado toast and like peas and bananas for my dog tree recipe. So it's getting good use, Aunt Cindy, so thank you. But um, that's what I use it for, and apparently now it's a baton. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off. We're gonna start with the first recipe. And what's really cool about the first recipe, it's actually one that I have shared on my blog before. It is, uh, I've used it as a dog pops recipe. I've used it as a lick mat recipe, which is what we're doing today. And it's inspired by a classic favorite from adults, the creamsicle popsicle, we're going to turn into an original recipe. So I'm going to clear this up and we're going to get started. All right. So for recipe number one, we're going to be using our carrots, pumpkin, and plain Greek yogurt. And you're only going to need a little bit of all of this, which is really kind of nice. So I went ahead and grabbed two carrots. They're nothing too big um, because I'm making it for two dogs. I just grabbed one more and you're basically just going to go ahead and chop up some of your carrots. I feel like I might have to stand a little for this one. We're gonna see if it'll, if it'll work. Perfect. And by the way, the, if you have extra carrots, oh, Annie looks up. This is Annie. I really don't want you close to a knife, sweetie. Let's move that out of the way. Um, if you don't want, or if you do have extra carrots from this, that's okay. It's almost good to have extra carrots because we will use them for our bonus recipe. So keep that in mind. If you have extra carrots from doing this, um, that's perfectly fine. It's almost good to just cut and have them. And by the way, I like I said, I'm not a chef. Don't judge my cutting skills. It's hard to do it sitting down. Okay, so we're gonna grab our blender, which you're gonna use, by the way, a splash or two of water in this. So when I went to clear this off, I went ahead and added that just because it's easiest. Because even though we're adding technically some liquids to this, I have just learned that no matter what, if you don't have actual water in there, it's really not gonna blend well, especially since we're doing like carrots and stuff. So I'm going to put like a small little handful of carrots. Maybe I'll do like about half of this. I feel like that looks good. And then we're going to grab our plain Greek yogurt. And I would say to do maybe like a couple spoonfuls. Like there's like maybe one or two. I feel like that's probably good. Maybe just a hint of one for good luck. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap that off. I do have a paper towel. I'll just use it. I'm going to use that for this one. This is... This is the dog's yogurt <laughs> and pumpkin anyway, so it's okay of a little bit of a crossover here. And then we're going to use our pure can pumpkin, and I'd say it's kind of going to be similar to the same amount, just a couple spoonfuls. I know that's a big
may have spoonful, but it's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna put the top back on. And once you see it blended, you'll be like, oh my gosh, that does look like a grape soup. And it'll be really fun. So let me turn this this way. I'm just gonna blend it on the That looks very creepsicle-y. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, put it over here. I'm gonna switch this to here, and we're gonna grab our Kongs, because that's what we are filling with this. And I've got kind of a few different sizes. I've got like the regular classic size, and then I've also got a smaller size. I have the smaller one for a banana, just because she's a little bit smaller. Um, and I feel like she can actually fit her tongue in the small one, unlike Diesel, Diesel can. <laughs> so use a spoon or a knife and just kind of fill in your Kongs a little bit. If there's some chunky moments, you know, that's okay. They're just gonna keep them busy and happy. There we go. And then I'm gonna do this one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Woo, it's going everywhere. That's why we have the tray. <laughs> or that's why we have the muffin pan. Either way. Okay, I stopped filling this a little bit because I want to make sure I had enough. And we do. So this, I would say, for the most part, pretty well fills about three Kongs, the amount that I just put in here. So not too bad. And especially if you're making this for more than two dogs, you're making it for three dogs. That's, you know, all you need right there. So all of these recipes, by the way, we are sticking in the freezer. Um, if it's more of a liquid like this, I usually will freeze either overnight or or stay on the longer side of like a four to five hours at least, just because, especially with the Kongs, it's just more for it to freeze inside of. And then all of our like mats, either overnight, if it's just like a pumpkin type yogurt base, a lot of those can freeze within like two to three hours. Um, but I just like to make these, I mean, we are making them a week's worth. So maybe that Sunday night, make it for the week ahead, just make them that night and then they're all done and you don't have to worry about them being frozen. So that's recipe number two. Let's move on to number three or number or <laughs> recipe number one let's clean things up and move on to recipe number two okay so my second recipe i like to call it my i love you very much this is also one that i created a while back and for this one we are going to use the licky mat buddy just a regular one we're going to use our plain greek yogurt and some strawberries so essentially what this one's going to be it's actually really kind of fun you're going to chop up your strawberries into small little pieces and we are essentially creating them like creating a heart on top of the yogurt on the lake mat. And I just think that's really fun. Um, and fun fact, with these recipes, I'll give you some pro tips on like some of the health benefits of them. So strawberries, what I saw and what I've read over the years is that not only are they filled with like antioxidants and stuff like that, I think I might have to take one for myself, <laughs> but they also are supposed to also potentially help with like teeth whitening and lots of other things. And then yogurt has like the probiotics there's a lot of really cool things with these recipes. So I feel like, see how many pieces I've made with this. Da -da -da. Let's see here. Ah, it's hard to tell because it keeps sticking to the knife. I feel like that's probably good enough. Okay, so now, wipe off my hands. We're gonna grab our lick mats. And I wouldn't say you need too much, you know, yogurt for this. You're just spreading it around on top of the lick mat. So just put like a little bit and then see how far you get. Um, if you wanted to take this just a little bit level up, and again, this would bring it potentially out of the price point that I've shared, but if you already have it in your pantry, then it's for free, <laughs> essentially. Um, I like to add my local honey to this as well and mix it in because fun fact, local honey can also help with allergies. And that usually only works if it is local because obviously it is from the area that you're in. But my dog Diesel, actually has struggled with allergies his whole life. He actually has atopic dermatitis, which basically means he's allergic to the outdoors. And he loves the outdoors. And it doesn't bother him all the time. Like it's just kind of like seasonally in spurts. So like right now, like this summer has really kind of bothered him or just during the summer, I mean, bothers him. Um, usually in the fall, he's fine. So it just kind of depends. So that could be a pro tip if you have a dog with allergies too. Maybe that can, you know, help him out a little bit. So once you have spread your yogurt on your lick mat and you don't need a ton, I'd say maybe this equals a half a cup or something like that. It's gonna look like that on each one. And then we are going to take, let me actually cut that, there we go. We're just gonna take our strawberries and create little hearts going all the way around. And obviously they don't have to be perfect, but I just thought this was a fun thing to do. And I'll make one of them and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then 
we don't have to necessarily make the other one on camera. But fun fact as well, if you really like dog enrichment recipes, I actually have a really cool mini recipe cookbook that I have made where if you sign up for my newsletter, you can get it right away. It's like five ingredients or five, um, sorry, recipes or something like that. It's really, really fun. And I'm constantly coming up with new recipes and I'd love for you to kind of check that out if dog enrichment recipes are your thing. So I think I just need one more piece here. Perfect, let me wipe off my hands. <laughs> it's got a little messy with the yogurt. I wouldn't say this is the most beautiful heart, but your dog doesn't know. And they know that you love them. So there's your fun little, I love you very much lick mat. And we're gonna stick, I'm gonna make this one and then we're gonna stick this in the freezer and we'll make the next recipe. All right, so the third recipe is literally the easiest recipe of all time. You're gonna love this. It takes little to no effort and all you need, I'm using my extra large lick mats for this and a banana. So you're gonna take half a banana on each lick mat if you're making two. If not, just put the whole one on there. I'm just splitting it because we're already gonna have a lot of snacks this week. You don't need any tools. You're literally going to take your lick mat, fold it over and like mash it and start dragging it across. I do that in all four corners. We can get some of that off over there. And this will like evenly start to kind of spread it out. If you need to kind of move some of it, like I kind of, <laughs> I kind of overspread on that. So I'm going to move it around there. And then you're literally done. You're literally done. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And again, if you use a whole banana, you obviously get more, but like this, they're already having so many different things like this week. It's okay that one isn't like a lot, <laughs> you know what I mean? But this is a pro tip I actually learned from my friend Cassandra. And I was like, why have I been like using a knife and like spreading a banana around? That's like so much work. So this is recipe number three. Slowly a mashed banana. We're just gonna go stick it in the freezer and then we'll make the next recipe. All right, our table's cleared. Here's the next one. You're gonna need your pure can pumpkin, a banana, and we're gonna use our licky mat soothers for this one. Again, you can use any lick mat. And this is where we're actually gonna use our cocktail muddler because this one, we're actually gonna be mashing the banana to mix with our pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that apart, put it in the bowl. Perfect. And then I'll mash this up. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'll bring it, you know, a little bit closer once I'm done. So you can see just how well this really just does mash things in case you've never used this before for this. It was just, just kind of an idea I had one day and it's just, I'm just kind of stuck with it. It's worked really well. So this is almost perfect. It's okay if it's a little chunky. There we go. Perfect. I'll set this on my paper towel. And that's, that's how well it mashes. Pretty good, right? Not too bad. So now we're going to add in, I'm going to do like two, like one and a big spoonful of pumpkin. I'm gonna mix this all together. And this is one of my dog's favorite combinations. Sometimes I'll actually even add, you know, I'll add maybe a, a blueberries or something in here and that's always good too. So this is your little mixture. And then I'm gonna stick some on our lick mats here. And there's gonna be a little left over. That's okay. Gonna need it for the bonus recipe. It all, it's all gonna come together, I promise you. So you're gonna take your knife and spread this one around. I love the Licky Mat Soother for some of my dogs that like really, really like to lick. Cause fun fact, Lick Mats actually, if you're wondering what they do as an enrichment activity, they actually help by, by naturally licking, helps your dogs relieve stress and anxiety and like tension and stuff like that. And my dog Diesel, that's like his go-to for if he gets like stressed, he loves to just lick and it really helps him relax. And I feel like the texture on the soother really does that for dogs. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I've seen, I feel like it really relaxes my dog. So if you have a dog that I feel like that has like a similar, you know, relief like that, I feel like it'd be good for them. So this is the next lick mat. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer and we're gonna come back for our bonus recipe. And this is the one where I'm gonna use that licky mat UFO and I've got some cool info about it. So I'm gonna go get that set up and let's do it. Okay, so the last recipe in our bonus recipe is one that I created myself. It's called the Everything But The Kitchen Sink. And fun fact, this recipe is actually a preview from my Lick Mac cookbook that is, depending on when you find this, it might already be available. If it is, it's obviously linked in the description. I'll have it updated, but if not, it's coming very soon. And this is one of the recipes that I created for it. So essentially, it's kind of like when you're cooking in the kitchen, right? And you are trying to figure everything out that you can eat and you're like, I don't know what to make. And you're like, well, Gonna put everything but the kitchen sink. I feel like you hear that a lot in like ice cream sundaes. So 
because I knew we were gonna have leftovers from what we just made, I'm gonna start by putting that in this. And the reason why I like the Licky Mat UFO bowl is because I like that it is flat and that I can really spread around a lot of this type of stuff. It's one of my favorites. Um, so we're gonna start by doing that and just moving it all around. And you can really like get in this bowl. Like, see what I mean? Like you can get all up in there, which I think is really awesome. And doesn't have to be, you know, a lot in this. Oh, I forget these have suction cups. <laughs> I'm like be moving, it's like, I can't do anything. <laughs> so we're gonna smooth this around. Perfect, I might actually grab my knife a little bit because I can't really get in, get in here. That's, okay, that's way better. I don't know why I tried to do it with a spoon. I should know better. Okay, so then what I also did is I, since I still have those carrots left over from the first recipe, uh, we're gonna put some of those little pieces in here too. And I also, I had some strawberries in my little bowl from the other recipe. I went ahead and chopped up the ones I'd already washed because they already were ready. So we're gonna do a handful of chopped strawberries and carrots in our bowl. And that will essentially complete our anything but the kitchen sink. And I've done even more of this. If I'm making like a ton of different ingredients and recipes, like sometimes these, these can have a lot of different things. I could have still had some yogurt in here from that first recipe. Sometimes I'm using broth. Sometimes I'm using peanut butter. Sometimes I'm using other fruits and veggies. Like these can go all out as much as you want to make them. And it just be a fun, healthy treat for your dog. So that is the everything but the kitchen sink. So that pretty much wraps up a week's worth of enrichment ideas for under or enrichment recipes for under ten dollars and i hope this was really helpful in seeing that you can make a lot of things for your pet at an affordable price and really stay in your budget and just just have fun with it so by the way if you love this video definitely give it a, give it a thumbs up i'd love to hear what you think in the comments below and of course if you're interested in signing up for my free mini cookbook and all that stuff definitely check that out below and i hope you will see me in the next video have a awesome day guys see you soon